नमस्कार वंस अगेन वेलकम यू टू स्पोर्टिंग एंजल्स एजुकेशन स्पेक्ट्रम वी आर स्टार्टिंग पॉलिटिकल साइंस एंड टुडे वी हैव टेकन अप पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज पार्ट थ्री इन द प्रीवियस टू पार्ट्स वी हैव कवर्ड अप द मीनिंग ऑफ द पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज द कंपोनेंट्स functions of the political parties in the first video in the second video we talked about kishan ji's thoughts on politics and his alternative politics in this video we shall be talking about national parties and state parties see democracies that follow the federal system all over the world basically have two kinds of parties one the parties which have their presence in almost complete federation or many units of the federation and the second one the parties which have their presence only in one of the units of the federation in case of india also we have two kinds of parties the parties which have their presence in many units of the federation they are national parties and the parties which have their presence only in one of the units of the federation they are state parties right so if you ask me so what is a state party yes yes the state parties are basically those parties which secure at least 6% of the total votes to legislative assembly and they win at least two seats then only they are recognized as state parties and uh, see the recognition is given by the election commission and that is the reason that some of the uh, see more than 750 parties political parties are registered with election commission but all haven't been recognized the recognition whether as a state party or national party depends on the percentage of votes they secure during the elections to the legislative assembly or the elections to lok sabha what is the concept of national party okay uh, when we talk about national parties in india a party which secures 6% of total votes to lok sabha in a particular election or at least in four states in assembly elections and wins at least four lok sabha seats then only a party is recognized as national party okay a uh, national party or a state party is given a particular symbol by the election commission and their candidates can fight election on the given symbol we have some symbols here if i can show you one by one see bring the camera closer to it let's cover up the all the parties one by one and in that case when we take up these parties let's talk about the bjp first talking about only the bjp just have your focus only on bjp see bjp was formed in 1984 uh, all those old timers know how it was formed uh, under the leadership of atal bihari was pay and advani ji see 
द पार्टी वॉज फाउंडेड इन नाइनटीन एट्टी बाई रिवाइविंग द अरेस्ट वॉयल भारतीय जनसंघ फॉर्म्ड बाई श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वन इट वॉन्ट्स टू बिल्ड अ स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड मॉडर्न इंडिया बाई ड्रॉइंग इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम इंडिया जेंसियंट कल्चर एंड वैल्यूज एंड दीन दयाल उपाध्याय इज आइडियाज ऑफ इंटीग्रल ह्यूमेनिजम एंड अंत्योदया कल्चरल नेशनलिज्म is an important element in its conception of indian national nationhood and politics what's full emotional and political integration of jammu and kashmir with india a uniform civil code for all people living in the country irrespective of religion and ban on religious conversions its support base increased substantially in the 1990s and after 2013 earlier limited to north and west and to the urban areas the party expanded its support in the southeast and northeast and to rural areas came to power in 98 as the leader of the national democratic alliance including several regional parties emerged as the largest party with 282 members in the 2014 lok sabha elections currently leads the ruling nda government at the center it has again formed the government in 2019 talking about congress launched on 1st january 19 98 under the leadership of mamta benerji recognized as a national party in 2016 the party symbol is flowers and grass committed to secularism and federalism has been in power in west bengal since 2011 also has a presence in arunachal pradesh manipur tripura in the general elections held in 2014 and it got 3.84% votes and won 34 seats making it the fourth largest party in the lok sabha see we have talked about the bjp we have talked about the ai tc now having talked about trinamool and bjp let's talk about the baspa the bsp formed in 1984 under the leadership of kashiram seeks to represent and secure power for the bahujan samaj which includes the dalits the adivasis obcs and religious minorities it draws inspiration from the ideas and teachings of sahu maharaj mahatma phule pariyar rama swami naikar and baba sahab ambedkar having talked about these three parties now let us talk about the cpi formed in 1925 believes in marxism leninism and secularism 
and democracy opposed to the forces of the sectionism and communalism accepts parliamentary democracy as a means of performing the interests of the working class farmers and the poor became weak after the split in the party in 64 that led to the formation of cpim now let's talk about cpim the communist party of india marxist founded in 1964 believes in marxism leninism and supports socialism secularism and democracy and opposes imperialism and communalism it accepts democratic elections as a useful and helpful means now we shall be talking about one of the oldest party of india that is inc popularly known as the congress party one of the oldest parties of the world founded in 1885 and has experienced many splits played a dominant role in the indian politics at the national and state level for several decades after india's independence now let us talk about ncp formed in 99 the following a split in the congress party exposes democracy gandhian secularism equity social justice and federalism apart from that we have aap which is quite a new party born out of anna andolan it is headed by arvind kejriwal it has formed government in delhi and in the present elections it has a good fight in punjab then we have rld rashtriya lok dal again it's a party that says that it talks about the farmers the rural people so having talked about let's talk about the state parties now so presently there are only seven national parties and others are state parties but state parties are also very important and most of the major parties of the country are classified by the election commission as state parties these are commonly referred to as regional parties even these parties are very important because they play important role in both the alliances see when we talk about the alliances these parties in fact are able to put forward the local problems the nda as well as presently in the nda there are many state parties and apart from this the previous manmohan singh government also included many state parties so state parties presently play very important part even in the alliances as a result national parties are compelled to form alliances with state parties since 
nearly every one of the state parties has got an opportunity to be a part of one or the other national level coalition government then we call it a coalition government right if one party is not able to secure the required majority then it requires other parties to combine and that is called a coalition so we have seen the importance of state parties and the national i hope i have made it pretty clear to you you will not find difficulties in understanding what a national party is and what a state party is apart apart from this we have already we have also talked about alliances coalition government in the next video we shall be talking about the challenges to the political parties thanks for joining